In Storyline, you can control several things about the way the course player and the user's browser behaves when a learner launches your course. So in this tutorial, I want to show you what your options are so that you can decide what works best for your situation. To get to our options, we're going to come up to the Home tab and then click this Player button. And when the Player Properties Manager pops up, we need to choose Other. And once we do that, this top section right here is what we're going to be working with. So let's talk about the browser size first. We've got a few different options here. The first one is to display the course at the user's current browser size. That's pretty straightforward. It means when your course launches, it'll be in a browser window, and that window is going to be whatever size the learner's browser is currently set to. So no big mystery there, right? Another option, this middle one, is to resize the browser to its optimal size. And what that means is that that browser window is going to size itself around your course and around the player so that it's just big enough to display your content at the size you designed it, plus, you know, whatever space your player takes up. And here's a little example of that right here. Um, in this one, my browser window is um, pretty much perfectly sized all the way around, you know, the edge of this course or this course's player, right? Um, now, if I had included a sidebar on this course, either on the left or the right side, the window would be big enough to accommodate that too. It would kind of hug the edge or the perimeter of everything that I've included on my player. Okay, the third option here is to resize the browser to fill the learner's screen. So in this case, the browser window would maximize to the largest possible size, as big as that learner's monitor would allow. Now that won't necessarily mean that your course itself is going to be displayed bigger though. That's what this next selector is for right down here called player size. So let's take a look at that. There's two options here. The first one is to scale the player to fill the browser window. And that means that your course will fill whatever size the learner's browser happens to be. So depending on what you chose up here for browser size, your course is going to fill that browser window no matter what size it is. So um, for example, if you chose for browser size, if you chose to resize the browser to fill the screen and for player size, you chose to scale the player to fill the browser window, what would happen is your course would probably end up looking pretty humongous, especially if the learner has a big monitor because that browser is going to be as big as the monitor will allow and the course is going to be as big as the browser will allow. So that's just something to keep in mind because if you do allow the course to scale like that, it will reduce the visual clarity a little bit. Your images and your text and your movies are always going to look the best if they're displayed you know, at the optimal size. And that's what this next option is for. It's called Lock Player at the Optimal Size. This means that no matter what size your browser window is, the player itself and your content are going to remain the size at which you created them. And if the browser happens to be bigger or if the learner is able to resize the browser to a different size um, and it's bigger than your course, then they'll just see an HTML background. I'm going to show you a little example of that from our course that we looked at a minute ago. So here's our browser that's sized um, you know, at the optimal size around our course. But if the learner happens to resize the browser like this, see how they can now see um, you know, this HTML background. And this can be whatever color you want. It wouldn't have to be blue. This is something that you can set um, if you go into your player properties and adjust the colors of your player in Storyline. You can make this whatever color you want. But see how what happens is if I resize this window, my content and my player are not really resizing. They're moving a little bit to stay centered within the browser, but they're not actually shrinking or growing larger. They're staying at their optimal size. So that's what those options are about. We've also got a couple of other options here. You can launch the player in a new window. This is kind of cool if you want the player to be in its own browser window with no other browser tabs on it. Now if you do choose that, you also have a say um, over whether that new window has browser controls on it, like the usual menu and buttons that your user has on their browser. Um, if you mark this box, the browser window will have just the address bar and nothing else. And then this last option here is um, going to allow you to control whether the user can resize that new window or not. So those are some options for how you can change your Articulate Storyline browser settings and your player size.